you have work after this. Um, well, you, it can be at work again as long as your supervisor doesn't, you know, have you doing a lot of stuff, and then now you're not doing your job because you're doing this assignment. So just kind of exercise, you know, good judgment with this, and if you can do it, do it. But don't don't get fired. Don't get kicked out of a, you know, a restaurant, and you know, just you know, use that. Uh, be mindful. Google or or know where you're going. What if there's parking? What if there's you know, it's, it's crazy, it's, you can't really turn in, you can't make a left-hand turn or something like that. And you might wanna like Google map your location, especially if it's your first time being there. I wouldn't tell you guys to go to like a, a neighborhood at around six or seven o'clock that you haven't ever been before. Like in LA or East LA or you know, South Central. Like I'm gonna do an observation on how people uh, interact at this 7-Eleven, which seems really, really high tense and, and scary. Why would you do that to yourself? You know, don't go down there. Like, don't, you know, just be mindful of where you're going and know, know about that area, right? So safety always first. Straight to the rubric right here, right? And let you know how your points are broken down. Of course, you can go back up and go into the thorough description, but this is what I'm actually looking for. So, first three points that you get is explaining where you're going. This is the introduction. Explain where you went, the name of the place, the date, the time, and why you selected this particular place. I'm going to be looking at these particular elements. So, if you don't explain that uh, in your paper, um, one or two pages, if you don't explain that in that paper, uh, or if you don't present that and let me know, I'm going I'm gonna, I'm gonna to just... Hmm, they, they, oh, they left out the time. I'm gonna leave out a point. Oh, they left out, you know, the actual place. I don't know where they went. They could have went anywhere. I need that. I know it's only three points, but that's important information because you start to talk about the rest of the, 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 you know, your observation, and I'm still stuck on like, where did you go? Where did you, where did you, where did you go? Cool story, cool, 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 where'd you go? So I need that, three points. Your methodology, what is your method towards taking those notes? This portion is your detailed description of how, keyword, how you observe what you observe. What did you use to record your observation? How did you organize everything? Did you use a pen and a paper? Did you act like you were on your phone? Uh, there's those details on how did you, um, Disguise yourself as a researcher. Did you have on headphones uh, in the gym and you were like, yeah, this is my song. You know, it's 50 cent. Or did you like, uh, what did you do? Did you have one headphone, one ear out so that you can kind of listen around? And uh, I want to know those details. Your method, this is your method to receiving the data that you are acquiring which is your observation. And that's worth five points, a whopping five points. It's very important that you show me next is your observation. So this is just going to be, uh, I can scroll back up and give you those details because that actually in the rubric that see the instructions. Discuss everything about your surroundings, right? I mean, where did you sit, benches? Was it if you're in a coffee place? Was it a, was it, was it, was it, was it, I want to know if the seats were comfortable. I want to know if, if it hurt after a while. Gosh, now I don't know why they want, don't want us to stay in here. It hurts in here. I want to know like the plants and murals. What did it smell like? What did it smell like in there? Did you like, you know what? It didn't smell too hot when I first got in there, but my nasal receptors got used to. What type of people did you observe, you know? Were you looking at age, race, ethnicity, social class? Of course, we don't know how much money they make, but what, are, what visual cues led you to believe that this individual was a part of this social class, this middle class? Oh, you know, he, he, he or she walked in and she had this like big purse, so that led me to conclude that she was a part of a, like a higher class. Um, you know, her hair was like this, or these type of hills, red bottom, and she seems like she was very into branding and, and just, I, I was in Glendale, just kidding. 
Um, or, you know, or, you know, it, the guy came in and he had like, um, he had, he had like a one, one, or like a one, um, one piece on, but it was like industrial and had paint on the knees and he was kind of sweating. He looked like he just was taking a break to get a, uh, you know, maybe a boost of energy. So he came to the Starbucks. These are all observations, but we're coming to conclusions based on what we see. We're making sociological conclusions, not prejudgments. You know, I don't want this to come from a negative point of view. Like this person came in here looking like this, so she's a go figure. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. No, that's not what we're doing. Oh man, he's this guy came in here loud. As soon as he opened the door, he was like, "What's up, Starbucks?" And you know what I want, so he's cocky. Like, wait, no, this is not. We're not making prejudgments on character. Just looking at, you know, you know, age, race, ethnicity, social class, what languages in those groups. Um, talk about any problems or dilemmas or that that happen about that. And maybe it was a debate about politics in there. You know, that's where it comes in. Where if this is in class and you're in a class where the teacher um, creates an atmosphere where if people are speaking about their perspectives. That might be a good uh, observation to do while you're still taking notes and making sure you're getting the A in that class, of course. But there's a lot of juicy information that you can get from observations in class. Maybe even this class. What did he just say we can do? Hey, why not, right? All right, so I want you to talk about everything that you can. You know, This is where you can get the most out of your paper because it's your observation. And you're trying to get to that one to two page mark. The more you stay and the more you see, the more material you have, right? Any questions on that, the observation part? So I'm gonna scroll back down to the clear outline instructions for all of this. All right, and so what about your findings? So I know this is pretty small, so I'm gonna elaborate on that. Basically, you know, what did you find out? What did you gather from that observation? But I know no one likes to live in the world of basically's and well, it's kind of saying this. So I'll just go, I'll just be straightforward. What did you find out? Explain in the essay format or one minute in your presentation about what did you, what, what connections did you make? What generalizations can you make about the people that you observed? What did you observe about the customer service, maybe? What did you observe when you looked at gender? Uh, any, uh, what, what racial uh, observations did you make? I know this is just one place you're observing and we can't generalize the world but you're making a generalization based on what you saw, not based on, well, this, these people at this Starbucks act like this, so that must mean they are, no, we're not just take, taking a, 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 a broad brush stroke on everybody from a certain race. We're talking about what generalizations can you make about the specific people that you saw, right, in that moment, because we, are, we weren't able to just go up and ask them the questions, right? So. Maybe it's the customer service, gender relationships, uh, you know, maybe it's relationships, you know, two people that are in a relationship. I mean, what, what did you, what generalizations can you make about those individuals? What type of uh, relationship can you generalize uh, that, they, that they have when they go home or when they leave and go to other settings, right? What can be made about, you know, that interaction? And why did you come to that conclusion? Why? When you tell me what you found out, and then you tell me what you conclude about what you found out, tell me why do you feel that is that is an accurate generalization? Does that make sense? I want to know the why. So you tell me the why at the end. I'm gonna look for that. You get the five points. Just like I'm explaining, you know how to do this for those that want to present. It's as simple as that. You got 60 seconds. Tell me what you found out, tell me what, you, what generalization he made, and then tell me why you came to that generalization.
what's that like? You, know, you can break it up, break it in half. 30 seconds, I'm going to talk about this. Another 30 seconds, I'm going to talk about this. And then that's your presentation on this section. Remember, if you go into two minutes, that's when I'll take the points away. I'm not going to just take a point away if I'm looking and I'm like, Oh, he or she just went over by two seconds. The clock point is when it goes, the clock goes all the way back around and then it's two minutes. So I'm pretty sure you can get to this stuff in a minute. Any questions on uh, the findings? What did you find out? What generalizations could you make? Why did you come to that generalization? You know, if you're in the gym, anybody goes to the gym and you're looking at the dynamics between you know uh, racial you know, you know gender you're looking at gender how men go to visit the gym versus women stuff like that we were talking about that last time maybe you can make some generalizations about those individuals at that particular gym maybe you went to two gyms you went to the one in North Hollywood and in Burbank and you say you know what the one in North Hollywood they take more selfies. And then the evaluation of method, again, um, this is worth five points, and if you're presenting this, I just want to know, what would you, you know when it said methodology at the top, like how did you record, did you use a pen, paper, did you record people, um, you know, voice record, did you, you know, how did you acquire your, or gather your, your, uh, your data? Well, what would you do differently? What would you improve, what would you change? What would you actually duplicate? What would you do again? And the next, the next time you have to observe. Discuss any ideas about any topics that you'll go into. Uh, how, would, how would you uh, make this, this study evolve? Like, what specific things would you look at next time? What things came to mind about what you observed in those individuals? So uh, this is evaluating how. So the findings was about what you saw and making generalizations. The evaluation of method is evaluate, is looking at how you, you observe. And maybe that method of getting that information, you want to try something different next time. Or maybe this was perfect and you just want to duplicate this. I, want, I need to know that. Does that make sense? So you got to tell me that. Um, your notes, to know that you, you, know, you went somewhere and you took those notes. Um, that come out, you can do bullet points. I'm not asking for two pages front and back. Just give me a one page. You know, you can double space that out. That doesn't have to be dense, like I'm reading a newspaper. Damn. You know, as long as it's a page. Some people are very short with their observations, but then their paper is like, you know, one or two pages, and that's okay. Or, you, or some people want to single space those and you wrote a lot of notes, you handwritten notes, so now you have to, you, you, you got more so that at least one page. Field notes. You can support this with images if you like or you know stuff like that. I'm already gonna look at your overall writing quality and speaking quality as well. This is gonna be worth four points. Whoa, he jumped it back up to four points? Yes, because you know, we're, you know, I wanna make sure that you guys, um, you know, your college level writing or public speaking is up to par. So what does that sound like or look like if you're writing or speaking? Grammar, spelling, organization, etc. I'm gonna look at that. The way you organize it. Did you organize it, your paper?